As we leave Tin City, the working waterfront area, I'm walking actually under the Tamiami Trail through the Gordon River Bridge over to Bayfront where we get a sort of a little bit of the past and the present. But while this may not look like much now, in a couple of years, this is going to be a depiction of the history of the working waterfront. It's hard to believe we're standing at the very site that used to be a railroad turnaround for those freight cars that used to go to Tin City and carry back the fish and the clams for those hungry northerners looking for that fresh catch of the day. This place also used to be filled with thousands of years of clamshells. Those clamshells were actually used to build some of the roads we have today, including the Tamiami Trail you might hear in the background. Here at Bayfront, there's been a lot of changes, but one thing that hasn't changed is the casual, elegant atmosphere that Naples is known for. This is a great place to come, especially Wednesdays on the waterfront, where you can stop in and have a, a drink at the cabana while you're watching toy boat racing, art exhibits, music. It's a great gathering place, almost like a promenade in Italy. Here at Bayfront, one of the great traditions of History Month in Naples is the Taste of Collier. 27 years of gathering, family fun, with different restaurants, lots of exciting things that are happening. This is just one of the many things that happen on the Naples waterfront. Bayfront also hosts the Naples Backyard History Heritage Trail Museum. So come on down to the Naples waterfront for a step back in time and fun with the family. I'm Dr. Lois Bowen, and this has been a Naples Backyard History Moment.